Carrie's Crazy Kitchen, and I'm going to bring you daily science during your coronavirus quarantine. Cover! Welcome back to day two of Crazy Carrie's Kitchen. Since we're still quarantined in our houses and can't go to school, we need something more to keep us entertained. So yesterday, we watched a video about how we could make a baggie explode. Today I thought, hmm, what else could we get to blow up? And then I was thinking about balloons. Do you remember when we had balloons and we rubbed them against our hair to get static electricity? So I'm thinking, what if we could get the baking soda and vinegar to make the balloon blow up? Let's find out. First, you're gonna take vinegar and you're gonna pour it in an empty water bottle about an inch up. We don't need to measure today. Perfect. Now, you are going to take an empty balloon. If you don't have an empty balloon, search. Search through all the old birthday party stuff. Search through supplies in the basement. You must have something somewhere that nobody ever wanted. Find that old, lonely, empty balloon and fill it up about half full with your baking soda. So to fill it up halfway full, you're gonna to need to use something like a funnel, but if you don't have a funnel, you could also put a straw in there. Try and find something to open up the balloon so you can get the baking soda down in. You could also try and take paper and twist it up and make a funnel out of that if you don't have a funnel or a straw. That looks like it's about half full. So now I'm going to take the balloon and put it on top of my bottle and I'm gonna dump the baking soda in the bottle and see if I can make my balloon blow up. Look at that, bubbling. Sweet! So, now if you wanna try this at home, I've got some new ideas for you too. Make sure you answer my Google form in Google Classroom too about what it is that you tried. You can try different size water bottles. You could try different size balloons. I've got small balloons and big balloons. Or if you can think of another way to do this to make it exciting, you try it and then you let me know. Have a great day. I miss you.